Hey folks, check out who I ran into. Chris Gill from Asleep at the Real. How you doing guys? Check him out. Man, he's got a great YouTube channel. I've been watching it myself and uh, you're from Texas, right? For about an hour from here, yes sir. Oh wow, yeah. so he's got experience. Are we gonna go out there and we're gonna check out some spots or you're gonna put me on them? Well, you may be showing <laughs> me where to catch them today. I don't think so. Hey, excited, the beginning of a day. Uh, full day of fishing ahead of us and so uh, thanks for joining me. Here we go. Man, you gotta love a good morning. This is beautiful out here. Thomas, I've seen it. Totally stoked. Gonna be catching some big fish. Vertical jigging. Chris is gonna join us for a little while, fish around us. And uh, check out this, just check it out. It don't get no better than that, folks. That's just, that's too good. Let's put some big fish in the boat. I can't wait to show you this. Man, you have to love the start of a day like today. Let me tell you. So today we are fishing with Chris Gill uh, from Asleep at the Reel. You can check out his YouTube channel. He's a fantastic guy, very nice guy. And uh, we are coming out of Johnson Creek again. And there's another very popular creek that people use. It's called Alley Camp, Alley uh, Boat Ramp, they also call it. But here's where the timber starts. And let me tell you folks, this is a great start to a day. We were supposed to have relatively low winds but unfortunately, when we get out there, we notice really quick that these uh, waves are substantial this early in the morning. So stick with me. We're going to put some big fish in the boat regardless, and we're going to have a great time on Lake of the Pines. Please subscribe. Day, folks that didn't take long we've been here for three minutes oh number one what a beautiful morning that is a beautiful start it don't get any better folks i'm stoked now i i can tell you right now i wish these waves would go down a little bit it's supposed to be eight mile an hour today and i can already tell you it's higher than that so yeah folks the footage doesn't even do it justice and they will even get worse than this but I'm talking coming over the bow of the boat it was like the whole front end of my boat was was drenched and um, we weren't we were we were taken back by this because again like I said we were expecting eight mile an hour winds and all of a sudden we were welcomed with probably 15 to 18 mile an hour gusts at least Should be a good fish. white crappie and now I'm getting black crappie.
All right, I wanted to take a little bit of time and show you exactly what I was fishing at Lake of the Pines. Now, obviously we were fishing timber, and you can see on this mark coming here, we've got a good mark on the side of the tree. This is a perfect example of something that's perhaps not that deep in the column. In my personal opinion, during this trip, if it was a little high, it didn't seem to be as big. I look at that fish and I'm thinking maybe a pound and a quarter or something like that. Um, but I would definitely drop on it because it's definitely a good fish. So again, just going through some of the live and the active captain footage that I did take. Again, good mark right here. Uh, we're at 18 foot down. Uh, great target something I would definitely be uh, shooting for didn't have as much success off of the trees like this though um, you're gonna have an image here coming up here that's gonna kind of show you exactly what I was having more success right here this is a perfect example this is numerous fish on it I'm trying to target the biggest ones I possibly can this one right here would probably be uh, target number one but um, it, it definitely when you drop into this stuff this is where you're gonna lose a lot of your jigs again another perfect example of where I was catching a lot of my fish these type of trees again lots of targets uh, definitely a grouping of fish down here these are all large fish look at that 26 foot deep folks I mean that's just that just amazes me you've got to have a big weight to get it down there quick um, and then again this tree right here you've got a good bunch of them down there at the bottom these are the types of trees that I had the most success and I would just keep that bait right on their nose and eventually they would fire it was it was just great to watch so one or two more examples here just want to kind of give you a feel exactly what we were looking for and again here similar fish look at those guys those guys are down at 32 feet caught my biggest fish down deep um, several two pounders were at least starting at 22 and below Never got a real big one um, that was actually any shallower than that. Now, without a doubt, I also, on top of using two 1 8 ounce weights on my line to get it down there quick, I also upsized my jig head and I was using a 1 8 ounce jig head. So something I'm not used to in Southern Illinois, to be quite honest with you, we've been downsizing, downsizing. We, we always downsize, it seems like. But here, they wanted that jig head to be really, really big. Now, maybe not a big, large body, something slim seemed to work really well here, um, but big jig head, smaller body, that was the ticket. All right. I'll tell you what, that was so brutal out there that I had to take a break, and now I'm on my way back. I took a little nap, and it's a new day. It's unbelievable. The sun just came out, and uh, it's really the same day, but after my na nap, and I'm telling you right now, I feel like an old man, but I can tell you, it was brutal. It was cold out there. So we're trying something a little different. We're gonna go back out there and we just might actually have some sun, which I'm excited to see. Yeah, so those rollers were actually coming over the front of my boat, uh, which I do have on film, but I'll tell you, it was, it was treacherous. And anytime I'm out on a new lake and I see no boats, kind of like the first day that I was here, <laughs> um, that's kind of an indication that this is beyond even what the locals are willing to do. So I pulled it back in, took a break, parked the boat. Unfortunately, I couldn't charge my battery. My battery definitely took a beating when we were out there earlier, but we get back on the water, we catch a few more fish, and we end a day that was uh, still fantastic. I mean, look at that. This is just an indication of the days that are ahead of us. Thanks for watching 3 Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies. Folks, this video is sponsored by Pine Cove Cabin. You can reach them at pinecovecabin.com. Whether or not you're visiting the historical city of Jefferson, or you're fishing for big slabs on Lake of the Pines, this is the place to stay. We're talking two bedrooms, two bath, it's right on the water. It just doesn't get any better. Folks, I've never been to Lake of the Pines until this week, and I can tell you, this is an incredible tip I'm giving you. It doesn't get any more convenient to the boat ramps or to the water. You are right here on the water, and you've got a great host in Glen Ferris. Check it out at pinecovecabin.com. Folks, you're going to love it.